Hi, Sarah here with a layout process video for UK Scrap Addicts. Today I'm doing the Grab 5 challenge we've got going on over on the blog. If you want to go and check that out, I'll be leaving links below for the Scrap Addicts um, blog, etc. So you can go and join in the fun there. So for this layout, I have chosen this pattern paper, which is one of the Grab 5 things that we had to use. And that large uh, wood piece for my title, which is the large title that we had to use also i've got some stickers over to one side those little wooden stickers that i need to use up so that's my half used stickers and i've also got some numbers on that sheet there which i'll use to do my dates so i'm using up the numbers and here i'm coming in with my embossing powder which was the fifth thing we had to use so for this i've added bismarck ink to some bubble wrap and i'm just pressing this down onto my pattern paper and I've already as you saw just then I'd already done a tester sheet because obviously it's a one chance thing with embossing powder and because it's not just white cardstock it's my pattern paper and I don't have a second chance to do it or another sheet to use so I did test it out first and then I made a very messy job of this because I should have poured it back into the bottle and then back out again but I decided to be lazy and just shove it all over the page but it worked so that's fine now here I'm just taking a paintbrush uh, an old paintbrush and I'm just rubbing off any embossing powder that has gone over the top of some of the image at the bottom because I don't want it to cover up any of that at the bottom and now I'm just taking my heat tool and I go over this for a long time I do cut out quite a bit because I don't want to go too close to the paper because it will burn it and also if it gets too hot for too long it will um, warp so I have to gradually melt that so it doesn't ruin the paper so I'm coming back in this is doing it properly where I put my shape on my piece of paper I'm sprinkling over my embossing powder which is Frantage and it's um, antique rose I think this one's called it's got lots of chunks in it different colors in it it's it's very cool effect that you get from it and now with this one because I've got large chunks on the top I'm heating it from underneath to get it to start to melt together and then once it's started melting I then go to the other side and finish melting it on that side as well and then I've left a bit at the end so that then I'll go back over it do the other half and then any little bits that I've missed and then melt the other side I do end up changing this and using paper mania gold tinsel I think it's called because I felt like it blended in but you get a good look of the colour of the embossing powder just there. It did look nice, it just was ended up being too much purple in the end. It didn't it blended in too much. So here I'm just grabbing some ephemera. Oh, I used my Mind the Scrap September 2016 kit for this. That's a UK um kit company. And I also pulled in a few elements from the We Are Memory Keepers Urban Chic that I had just in my stash waiting to be used up so it's a bit of a combination there but they go well t together because the paper is actually the urban sheep co sheep collection as well so i'm adding my photo here which is of me and my fiance on my birthday on the 11th of january so it was really cold and we went on one of the riverboat cruises where you got to see the sights from the river and all the lights and we decided oh let's go on deck and take some pictures and it was so blustery uh, that we just my glasses were steamed up my hair was all over the place and we were just laughing our heads off because we could not get a good picture to save our lives and this was about the best one i got but it's funny we're laughing in it and the actual paper is a nice picture <laughs> so it makes up for our funny faces on this one so just then my 80g gun decided to stop working so for the rest of it i'm using just some uh tape instead and what i've done there is added some um foam to the back of my photo i'm now adding a bit of vellum and then i'll add extra layers paper layers behind that as well to build up a nice um a nice um textured um paper cluster behind my photo so because there's a lot of that purple I wanted to introduce one more colour to it and so it will be the purple this tealy colour and then gold sort of highlights that I'll be adding to this 
and then a little bit of black because it just tied in with some of the stickers and things that I use. So here I've just taken some gauze or cheesecloth, whichever you want to call it, just to add a bit more interest, a bit of texture behind my photo. And then I've just got this scrap of gold foil card and I'm just adding a little bit of that just to hint behind my photo. I've not added much, it's just a little bit behind there just to, um, just to pull in the gold from the ephemera. And I'm just sticking that down with some more tape. I also bring in, that's where I, I bring in my Celebrate, because um, it was my birthday, I thought it was in keeping with my large title. I bring that in, notice that it's just blending in too much. So there I've now changed it and added gold embossing to it. And now I'm just getting lots of tape down to make sure that my photo sticks on top of the in bossing powder well so now that's down I'm bringing out my half used sticker sheet I think it's Schmel Go now go is it called it's from last year year before so there's a little one that says go on there so I decided to choose that one I've just added that tag there and just put some white and gold twine through it I'm adding that little heart as well to bring in more teal and then at the bottom corner where it's quite dark under the wheel, I'll be adding my date and just a little cluster there as well. So as you can see, that Celebrate stands out a lot better now that it's gold instead. So it's popping off the page a bit. I'll just move my um, layout out of the way while I do this cluster because it's made up of lots of things that are already stickers and I don't want to be sticking it down, peeling it off again until I'm happy with how it looks. So... I'm just adding a bit of glue to that cardstock heart because that's not a sticky one just to make sure it's glued to the rest of them and then I'm just grabbing a few more stickers from that sheet there that are in keeping with my photo and then bringing out another half used sticker sheet these ones are clear I think it's um, called memorandum I think and um, they're clear with black, white and gold on top of them. I choose a black one and just um, that just says together. I'm also bringing out a half used pink paisley cedar lane tiny word sticker sheet and just add some words down the side of that tag there. I'm bringing a bit more black with that heart tag just to tie it all in together. I had a little black heart there as well. And at the bottom, now I want to make a cluster at the bottom that balances the the larger photo cluster and I've just added my number stickers at the bottom for my date and a few more stickers there and I think I, I had a little purple heart on top of the gold heart there just to balance all the colours out. Now I was going to use another one of them stickers that had a taxi on but then I found that I actually had a wood veneer boat which seemed like the perfect choice for this so I've added a wood veneer boat and then a camera to balance it out at the top and then I'm coming in with some tiny hearts and um, wood veneer hearts and just sprinkling them on here and there and then I think I'm pretty much done just time for some ink spray so I haven't prepped anything about my paper today because I've not used any water it's just a few splashes of my Heidi Swap colour shine in my teal colour and the gold colour and then I come in also with some Distress Spray in Seedless Preserves which is a perfect match to the purple colour and then a little bit of black just to add lots of different colours to the background paper to try and draw in the, um, the colours all together from the layout. So here I am with the black and I think that is me pretty much done. So thanks for joining me today. If you've got any questions, please just leave a comment below and do check out UK Scrap Addicts. I'll be leaving useful links below of where you can get kits from as well as um, my own links to Instagram, etc. in case you want to come check out some more of my videos. So thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.